Vincent. Chuck the Movie Guy. It's how a pleasure you, to meet you. How do you know I'm Chuck the Movie Guy? I, I have seen many of your uh, your interviews throughout the years. I have seen many, many of your interviews. I have. <laughs> this feels so good because I'm like, nobody knows who I am. I'm like, but I'm Chuck the Movie Guy. No, no, I saw, I saw you while we were taking pictures over there, and then I was like, that looks like Chuck the Movie Guy. And then you do introduced you know, yourself. I mean, not to, if I had to toot my own horn, but I've actually had like actors like tweet me and somebody's like, why haven't you been? I, I thought we were going to like Super 8 and all these people, and it's just like people like that's awesome. And I, this, I, I did this one movie, Orphan, Isabel Furman. Literally, I walked into the room, and she was just like, her mom was like, oh my God. You're, she's a huge fan, and I'm like, but I'm just a, a critic. You no, know I mean? no, believe me, I, no. I've seen plenty, plenty of your videos. And, on and YouTube, I'm so yeah. excited now because I am obsessed with Phineas and Ferb. Thank I'm you like, so much. I'm old man, and I watch the show constantly. No, well, I'll, I'll let you know that Phineas Flynn himself is a big fan of Chuck the Movie Guy. Yay. He really is. <laughs> this is my whole yeah. day. <laughs> you just threw me for a loop, and I was Perfect. just like, you know, I um, how many people have you ever heard people come up and say we named our dog, cat, uh, you know, Perry. Or, I, ha I you know? have actually, yeah. A woman came up to me today at the, uh, the signing on, uh, on the floor of the con and uh, she was like, I just want to let you know we got, a, we got a dog two months ago and named him Phineas after you. And, oh, and Phineas, okay. That's the coolest yeah. thing, yeah. that they named their pet after uh, characters on the show, especially, you know, yeah. the character I'm involved with. So that's now, really cool. obviously you're anonymous in the world of any, do you I, ever uh, go through like McDonald's drive through as Phineas <laughs> or something like that? Or I, uh, like? <laughs> I get a lot of people requesting me to do voicemails. Right? If, I, if I do it at drive throughs I, people get very uh, annoyed. <laughs> just like, all right, who's this guy yeah. pretending to be Phineas? Or, or and, people come up with cell phones. Yeah, that, say something. Yeah, please be my be my be my outgoing message. And I, I had my sister's ringtone for a long time. Be like, hey Jenna, Jenna Martell, it's Phineas Flynn. Answer your phone and talking to her as Phineas. And everyone be like, what is that? And how do I get it? So it's very cool. I, I did when I was interviewing the uh, SpongeBob SquarePants in the movie. Yeah, I literally was sitting with the guys, and I'm like. Listen, we can sit here. All I really want you to do is my voicemail message. Yeah. And they did it on the spot. And I was like, that's the coolest. Yeah, that's I know. the coolest. And it's yeah. just like, but they get it all the time. They understand. I'm, I'm sure, sure you yeah. like, like, you know. But now, are you like, have every toy imaginable? Do they give you, you know, figures? Well, and... the cool part for me is that I actually, the only things I know that are coming out are things yeah. that I do to provide the voice for. So I, the coolest thing for me is because I'm, I might be 18, but I'm just, right. I'm such a little kid that whenever I see stuff in the store, I'm like, gotta have it. And because yeah. it's the coolest thing to me that I, that I play a character that is an action figure, and that's yeah. macaroni and cheese. <laughs> they told us that, um, I'm pretty sure I'm allowed to say this, that um, Perry the Platypus is going to be replacing the Nesquik bunny for like four months on uh, oh my on chocolate awesome. milk. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. And to me, so that's cool. the coolest thing. Yeah. So I, I, I really do freak out over that stuff. And, and every so often, I, I try not to wear too many Phineas and Ferb shirts yeah. to events that people aren't like, that guy, <laughs> promoting, it, promoting the show he works on. But I really do. I just really get excited over that stuff. I would assume like behind the scenes that there'd be fighting going on to see who gets to say the line, where's Perry? <laughs> Luckily, I'm, I'm almost the only one who gets to say that. Every so often, Major Monogram will get to say that, but it always comes back to, hey, where's Perry? And surprisingly, they make me do that line every single episode the exact same way. <laughs> oh, yeah, you think that, can't judge you evidence, Dave. Yeah. Uh, and how many of your friends come up to you and go, what you doing? Surprisingly, um, I, I get it all the time. It's not yeah. surprising at all. No, I, I, I do get it all the I time. I meant to start my interview that way, yeah. but you threw me for a loop. I did. I, I apologize with, with right. immediately being so excited that you're here. <laughs> no, but um, I, I do get a lot of people that recognize the lines from the show and the catchphrases, and that's really cool because that means they watch it a lot. I yeah. walked in and saw the poster for Phineas and for the movie, and I literally was in a, a stop. I'm just like, there's going to be a, a, a full blown out yeah. a, a, over an hour. Yeah, uh, it's, it's very exciting, and, and I was able to see it actually about a month ago for the first time after working on it for yeah. a year and it is just so cool I'm so glad I was a part of it it's really awesome how can it be different from doing anything normal I mean yeah well the cool part about the movie specifically is that you do get to see a completely different side of Phineas uh, usually you know the, a, a good part of Phineas is that he's very excited all the time he's yeah. very happy he's never even sad but in this movie he figures out Perry the platypus is a secret agent and it really really breaks his Spoiler heart. Spoiler alert. Yeah, no, we were saying it in the panel so I figured okay, I was allowed to say right, it here okay. in the movie. Well, if you I don't wanna, have if, you don't wanna, if you don't want to You just ruined the movie wanna, for I'm me. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I need Phineas to invent a ray to go yeah, back to, and erase, erase my memory, memory or something like but, that. Um, <laughs> yeah, and so it's it's a cool part because you get to see Phineas kind yeah. of really heartbroken that his pet has lied to him for so long. I agree. And so you get to see Phineas a lot, you know, more, you know, sad and upset yeah. and it's, it's very fun that we get to see a different side of all the characters that yeah. way, yeah. Vincent, you rock my world. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. That was a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> awesome.